Andreas Giorgio here for MMA Plus, just outside the Free Arena in Dublin, ahead of a huge UFC event this weekend, UFC Dublin. One of the biggest fights on the weekend, on this Saturday. Reza Madadi returns to face Norman Park. There's tremendous bad blood there between both fighters. Reza Madadi makes his return since fighting Michael Johnson 2013, returning now to the UFC uh, against a guy in Norman Park who, who needs a very big win at UFC Dublin. So here are some interviews with both Stormy Norman Park and Reza Madadi from UFC Dublin Media Day. And afterwards, me and Niall McGrath from Talking Brawls will break down the fight. You go for me. Just want to go there and cut his head. I don't see anything many strong parties is game. Everybody in UFC, they are strong, they are good. I'm too. I'm much better. So. so the opposite. What do you think his biggest weaknesses are? Everything. Yeah, his heart. Mm -hmm. He called me thief. That's true because I already stole him. his heart. I gonna go in and smash him. How quickly? Very quick. Doesn't matter. Maybe I want to play wrong with him. But one thing is short is uh, for sure they're gonna raise up my hand. Mm -hmm. That's it. I want to fight that guy because it's personal. You want to fight? You want to stand the middle and bang? Yeah, come on, let's do it. 156 pounds. Strength-wise, he's got good cardio, very, very good cardio. You know, he's like a, he's like an old, uh, what do you call them old? Uh, he's like a hyena, just keeps coming. You know, he looks like one, and he, he's, he's fit like one. So he's got that on his side, and he's tough. He's got a good grappling game. He likes to, he's got a sneaky guillotine, which he likes to use in the transition when guys are getting up from bottom. Something that we've worked on, and he's good. Um, he's good wrestling, you know. But and I feel that's his strong points, and and. But his weak points, I feel like he, he freezes up a lot. Like when he gets hit, he kind of hides and covers a lot. But he's very sneaky at getting in for the body lock. He likes the body lock to get the knee tap to take you down. So, but, you know, I've seen that all before. <laughs> Nothing I've never seen before, but I feel like the holes in his game are his stand up and his. Uh, he's a bit chinny as well. And I think he's got a bit of a weak chin. You know, he's been caught a few times, but some guys have never kind of caught him a few more to finish him. So. And I feel like I got a tough chin, so hopefully he can stand a bang and fight. Um, you know, he's going to say, as I said before, he's going to say, let's take him at heart. I'm one tough motherfucker, I'm telling you, I'll never quit. I'll never quit in a fight, and you can see that my fights, I got a lot of heart, so if he wants to try and play that game, fair enough to him, but he's the one that's got the insecurities, he's got the problems, because as I said before, he says all this whenever he's on the camera, but once we see face to face in IDI, we had food the day I looked at him dead in the eye, where was he doing? He was looking looking for dust on the floor, you mm. know. So I saw that he's you know, so we'll see whenever we fight. up a wee bit, like I'm not a smart talker, you know, so I thought, let's kind of add a wee bit more spice to the, this fight, I said, when you're coming across here, uh, my girl needs a new handbag, you know, I ain't going to dish out like $250 for a Louis Vuitton handbag, I hear you're going cheap over there in Sweden, bring the one over and then it kind of fed from there, I knew he wasn't, well, I knew he was going to bite the bait straight away, so, because he's stupid, you know, he's stupid, he's going to the bait, so, now, now we got to fight. Now joined by Talking Brawls, MMA's Niall McGrath. Niall, big bad blood this Saturday in Dublin between Mad Dog, Reza Madadi, and Storm in Norman Park. You know, first of all, I've got to ask you, have you seen the Twitter exchanges? You know, what yeah. do you think about the beef? Because both guys have said some big things. Yeah, it was an interesting day. We spoke with Norman, obviously, and uh, he mentioned he started it all off on Twitter. Um, I actually asked him the question today. Did, did, did he think... You know, he needed to do that in order to sort of <laughs> sell the fight a little bit more. And it certainly worked because, you know, Rez obviously is a very hot style, hot headed character. We saw um, his last fight, obviously, in the UFC against Michael Johnson. That weigh in was fantastic. You know, his hometown, he was right in his face. It's going to be sort of the other way around, I think, come fight night. Um, you know, on Saturday, um, we, we've seen Norman in the, par in the past. 
uh, face off against Kotani here. And I, you know, Norman, I think he almost had the fight won b before he went in there with that stare down. It was uh, sensational. So it's just added a lot of spice and fire to the fight. And it's, you know, it's going to be a really interesting fight. We're going to learn um, if uh, Mad Dog has that ring rust after, you know, it's nearly three years since he's been in the octagon. I think it was Conor McGregor's debut in Sweden. I was at the fight. So it really is. It's one to look forward to. Norman, then, on the other hand, is a guy who's. You know, with the recent cuts, you never know what's going to happen at the moment. The UFC, I think, they're looking to cut 50 to 60 more yeah. guys in the next couple of weeks. So it's, it's a really, really big fight. It really is. Obviously, a lot of insecurity around, you know, UFC fighter futures. You know, as Reza Madadi did say in that interview, he was looking to cut his head off. Very, very direct from Reza Madadi because it's clear that they don't like each other. But, you know, for this fight, as you mentioned, with, with Norman Park, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of must win. You know, obviously, Gleison Tebow, Yancy Maideros, yeah. two losses in a row now for, for Norman Park. I know we're not in Northern Ireland, but you know he's an adopted Irishman here in Dublin. Is the crowd going to be a major factor on Saturday night? I think so. Yeah, I think Norman. You know, he's he's been all over the place. He's fought in Brazil. He's had a f you know a couple of fights in Brazil that definitely, in, in my opinion, should have gone his way that haven't gone his way. Um, you know, without doubt, we've seen Norman here in the past. You know, last year against Kotani, the crowd were very much on his side. He was a little bit concerned, I think, the last time coming into the octagon whether the crowd were going to be on his side. But certainly, they, listen, you know, I've said it before. You know. He's an Irishman. He's fighting in Ireland. We'll, you know, we'll get behind them. That, that's what our fans are like here. We don't let our guys uh, hang out to dry. Um, so you know, I expect a, you know a really, really loud reception for Norman. And yeah, no, you know, it's going to be a big factor. It really is. You know, I don't care what anyone says. Any fighter, any person in the world, you know, when you're when you're going to someone's backyard to fight them, there's always going to be that little yeah. bit of belly, and especially in this place yeah. right here, uh, you know, it's going to be rocking on Saturday night. Head to head. If you're going to make a prediction right now, Niall, who's going to win this? Is it going to be Mad Dog or is it going to be Storm and Norman Park Saturday night? I'm going to go with Norman in this one. I think there's a huge amount on the line for Norman. Um, I think what we're going to see for Norman is a lot of that forward pressure, grinding up against the cage, You know, look for the takedown, look to sort of edge Magdaddy to, to the deck. And it may, does make sense for Norman to do that, use that, implement that style. Maybe start off with a little bit of boxing, wear him down. Because Magdaddy, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see if... That ring rust is yeah. going to play a factor. Being out for so long, you know, that is definitely, in my opinion, going to be a big factor in this fight. Taking the home crowd, uh, you, you know, take that into consideration. Um, you've Norman on a two-fight loss, a guy who's really is a, an absolute, um, you know, he's a really consistent guy, I think, for, for the Irish fans. And he's shown that throughout his career. I reckon Norman's one of these guys going to be in the UFC for a long, long time um, to come. And I do, I just think Norman's going to pull this out. I think he's really going to show a grinding, gritty performance. And basically, he's going to go out there and do whatever it takes to win on Saturday night. That's what Norman needs. I think Norman might even finish this late on. I think it could be a little bit too much to ask for, for my daddy to, to put up a performance um, on Saturday night. So, so Norman all the way for me, definitely. Obviously, both men have got that freestyle wrestling pedigree. We know that either guy... If it's going to be a win, it's going to be a very hard and gritty win, as you described it. I'm going to go with Norman Park. The pressure's there. He has to mount something in Dublin and on Saturday night. Take, he was very cool today. Norman yeah. was really relaxed today. There was, you know, Reza was getting a little bit G'd up. Yeah. He Norman, did, he very calm. Very calm, very articulate. That's another thing you have to take into consideration. Sometimes when a guy, you know, he, he's that G'd up and... And, and having not fought so long as well, you know, that could, could really drain his energy come Saturday night and frighten him in, in Norman's backyard, really. So it, it's a really interesting one. Can't wait for it. It's going to be a fantastic fight. I cannot wait for it. UFC Fight Pass, UFC Dublin, Reza, Mad Dog, my daddy, Storm in Norman Park. Join in on who you think is going to win the fight using the hashtag head to head and let us know from me and Nar McGraw here in Dublin. We hope you enjoy UFC Fight Night Dublin.